What's up everybody, it's Jay here from Bearded Iron. We're keeping this video short and sweet. We're talking six life-changing fat loss tips in less than five minutes. If you've seen my transformation video, you can see that I know a thing or two about weight loss. Also, if you have a sweet tooth and really struggle with cravings, then definitely stay tuned until the very last tip, as that's the one that's going to help you guys out. So, without further ado, let's crack on. The first tip when it comes to weight loss is that water is your best friend. Water has so many benefits. It can help boost your metabolism, which in turn helps you burn more calories throughout the day, and drinking a glass of water before you eat can help you feel fuller for longer, which again stops you from eating as much. I try and drink 4 litres of water every single day. If you're drinking plenty of water, you won't feel dehydrated, which then stops you reaching for that can of coke or beer or even energy drink. Drinking water and avoiding the sugary drinks can reduce your calorie intake by 30 to 40 percent. This can add up to a significant amount of weight loss over the years. The next tip is don't shy away from caffeine. Now obviously I've just said drink only water but coffee is okay for you as well. Now when I say coffee I'm not talking about a large chocolate orange frappuccino with whipped cream. I'm talking about black coffee, like a true thoroughbred psycho. Again, coffee increases your metabolism, it gives us energy to help us out in the gym, which then increases our workout intensity, which again helps us burn more calories. Coffee is also great if you're following an intermittent fasting protocol, as it doesn't break your fast, it helps satiate your hunger, and it also gives you the energy that you need, as you're not getting that energy from your food during your fasting windows. The next tip is buying your groceries online and getting it delivered. On a Wednesday evening, me and the wife sit down and we meal plan for the week ahead. We work out what we're going to eat and then we'll check all the cupboards to check what ingredients we have and then what we need to buy. We then go online and order what groceries we need. This stops any impulse buying. You know, you're not going to go into the supermarket, so you're not going to see the cheap reduced donuts that have been promoted. Or you're not going to walk down the sweet aisle and pick up pop and Haribo and biscuits and all that crap. You're only going to buy what you need, so you then don't fill the pantry with snacks and junk food. Do you meal prep or meal plan? Let me know in the comments below exactly how you plan for your week ahead. Next tip is ensuring that you're getting enough sleep. A lack of sleep increases our hunger hormone and decreases our satisfaction hormone. This leads to weight gain. When we're sleep deprived, we tend to crave more junk food. A lack of sleep can also make you stressed and we all know that stress eating is definitely a thing. Also, the more time we spend asleep, the more time we're not eating or thinking about food. So make sure you're getting your seven to eight hours if possible. The next tip is to distract yourself from eating and the best way of doing this is by getting some exercise. I'm not talking about sitting in a pool of sweat in the gym, I'm talking about walking. If you go for two or three 30 minute walks a day, this will completely distract you from food. Most of us eat out of boredom. I know this because when I'm working and busy all day, I can sometimes forget to eat. Yet on a weekend, when I'm sat in front of the TV or chilling in the garden, I can guarantee you I don't forget a meal. Keeping ourselves busy and distracted will stop us stumbling into the fridge and grabbing food when we're not actually all that hungry. The next tip is finding a way to avoid that sweet tooth. Do you crave donuts and cake and biscuits, cookies and chocolate? These cravings do nothing for your weight loss. I have two ways of dodging the sweet tooth temptation. The first is the easiest and that is grabbing some chewing gum. I find chewing sugar-free gum reduces my cravings for sweet foods. Now, I don't know the science behind it, but I know it works for me. I'm guessing the mint flavour plus the chewing tricks your brain into being satiated so that those cravings disappear. If that one's not going to work for you, then the next one involves fat-free yoghurt and a big scoop of whey protein. I personally use my protein chocolate caramel flavour. I mix that into a fat-free yogurt and stir it until I've got like a, a chocolate pudding-like consistency. This genuinely tastes like a dessert. It's only around 300 calories and best of all, it has 35 grams of protein. Happy days. If you found this video useful, drop it a like and share it with anyone else who's struggling to shift those unwanted pounds. If you want to continue on your weight loss journey, check out this next video. I'll see you over there. As always, 
Bearded Iron out.